Hi, good morning, good evening. Welcome to you all, wherever you are. In this video, I'm going to talk about business analysis. What is business analysis? So before I get into the details of business analysis, let me take an example. There is a ready to eat food selling company, which is selling its products through multiple physical retail stores across the country. It is also available online on Amazon and other e-commerce portals. Now, as you know, these e-commerce portals charge a very high commission, upwards of 30%. Now, these food products, typically food products have low margins, but high volume games. Now, because of the combination of retail, physical retail stores and the high commission online e-commerce portal presence, the margins are getting affected or rather the profitability is very low and this is not allowing it to grow faster because it always in the need of funds. So the board and the senior management have decided to find a way out. What can be done to increase its profitability so that it can expand faster and launch newer products. So the company has formed a team which is asked to look into it. So let's say they work this out and they figure out that the best way to go ahead with this is to launch their own e-commerce portal and market it aggressively. So that decision leads to hiring an IT company which will do this task. So the company will hire an IT company, sign a contract. Now the IT company internally will form a team led by a project manager or a senior project manager and they will recruit different profiles in the team, for example, business analysts, testing team members, technical lead, as well as developers and many other team members. The team will go back after the uh, formation. They will develop the software by following different methodologies, including either it's predictive or adaptive or waterfall or HI. Then once the software is ready, they will do the testing. It will be then be taken back to the customer who will test it and if everything is okay it will become online meaning now the software is accessible and they'll be able to sell their products through their own website so this is the situation of starting with a problem for a particular business and finding the solution and even making it online now let's understand where is business analysis is on in all of this so business analysis actually starts before the software actually gets underway or the software development actually gets underway. So if you go back to a case study, you will realize that I mentioned that the company formed a team. Now that team actually look in, looked into the problem and figured out what is the best way to go ahead. Now the solution to the problem could be an IT solution, a non-IT solution, or it could be a combination of the two. It could be anything. It depends on the problem. Now, the team also needs to decide whether it's worth investing in this solution. Sometimes there are certain problems which are good to live with because it's not worth investing that much of money to solve it because the benefits are very low. Now, all this analysis is also under business analysis. This sometimes is also called in business analysis world as strategy analysis, where the team or the business analyst decide what is the current status and how it can be changed so that the problem of the business can be solved. So this was before the project started. Now, if you go ahead and move to the next part, which is the software development part. Now here, where is business analysis? Business analysis is once the team is formed on the IT company's side, then what happens? The team or the, specifically the business analysts go for requirements, elicitation, analysis and modeling. What they do? They talk to the stakeholders or the customer team members, get the information from them, expand it, detail it out. So they can create a process diagram like flowchart, you can create prototypes, screen designs, and many other things and put it together into a document. That document is sometimes called SRS, FRS, FRD. There are many names to the same document. Ultimately, it is 
the detailed requirements specification document. So in turn, business analysts take it to the customer, they coordinate with the customer team and ensure that everything is well tested, customer is happy and then the software goes online. So in this journey also, the business analysts are responsible for requirements, eliciting it, documenting it, coordinating with the stakeholders throughout to ensure that the software gets implemented or becomes online and also carries forward the task of ensuring that the project objectives are met with. So I will end this particular video by showing you the IBA definition of business analysis which will appear on your screen. As you can see in this definition of business analysis, it is talking about enabling change in an organization. And as you can also see, there are solutions, there are stakeholders. So business analysis is all about helping a customer or an organization address a problem effectively so that it achieves the benefit or the value out of it. I hope you like this video. Please click on the like button and also do subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification button. Thank you so much.